Noel Blazer Demo Dead. Part 1 Hello, my name is Noel Long. I am a student here at the Governor Moorhead School for the Blind, here today to demonstrate the Braille Blazer, the Stop compact embosser from Freedom Scientific. The Blazer is about the size of an HP standard printer, and it uses 8 by 11 inch fan fold paper for embossing purposes. Um, I got this unit because I thought about teachers that didn't have embossers and realized I could do a part in their roles of getting their work embossed for their students. And once I realized that my note taker was compatible with this unit, I was kind of appreciated by the fact that this would really work and make it easier for me to do embossing of work. What we want to do first is turn on our blazer and show you the configuration menus before we look at embossing. To turn on the blazer, locate the rocker switch nearest the back of the unit uh, and push it forward towards you. Once you push it, the carriage moves from left to right, then the paper inside your blazer is going to move back and forth and the unit will say, Braille Blazer, ready. It sounds like this. To get into menu mode, press the three buttons located on the right side of the unit. These are the online button, the line feed button, and the form feed button. It said configuration, speech, config, menu. Now, to move down the menus, we press the line feed button. And to move up, we press the online button. So what we want to do, our main goal in this um, part one is to show you the printer configuration menu. This will get you familiar with how to set up your blazer before you start embossing with this. Good morning. Um, so let's go to printer configuration menu and press the form feed button which is our select button port parallel. port parallel this is the port that the blazer will be using to receive data from another device uh, if you are plugging in a serial cable you want to change this to serial and you can do that by pressing your form feed key serial. I want to leave it at parallel because I have a parallel cable and I will press the line feed. Paper feed pulling. Paper feed pulling or push out. Push out. Pulling. I have it set to pulling. What this is is when the paper is feeding out of the blazer, it's pulling it out. This is this is what it's set to by its defaults. <laughs> press line feed. Left margin zero. Now this is where we will set the different margins. Currently, by default, your left margin is set to zero, meaning that the blazer is going to start brailing at the left side of the paper. Right margin, 34. right margin is set to 34 by default. When this, when it reaches column 34, the carriage will return back to zero on the left. Top margin, zero. Top margin is set to zero. If you want your blazer to braille, um, below a perforated mark, you may want to set this to a higher value, such as one or two. Bottom margin is zero. And your bottom margin is zero. That's by default, and I don't recommend you um, setting this to any higher value. Lines per page, 25. Lines per page. This is set to 25, which is the standard line length for an 8 by 11 inch fan fold piece of paper. Page length in inches, 11. Page length in inches, 11. This is the standard page length for the paper that is being used. If you are using like narrow paper such as like plastic labels, um, you may want to set this to a lower number of inches. Add to page length eighth of an inch zero. Add to page length eighth of an inch. This is currently set to zero by default. Word wrap off. Word wrap is turned off. Paper weight seven. Paperweight heavy. We have three options. We have heavy, plastic, plastic, light, or light. Let's set it to heavy. 
And line fee again. Character set USSD. Character set US ASCII. This is the standard character set on the Blazor. If you're browsing in a different language, however, you may want to set this to the character set of the, the appropriate language you're going to braille. Paper out detector on. Paper out detector on. This is very important because if this is turned on, when the blazer um, runs out of paper or if a sheet gets off track, you will hear the blazer say out of paper, meaning that you'll have to either load more paper into the blazer or check the tractor mechanism in the paper cover to make sure that the paper is okay. Auto line feed, by default this is turned off, but if you want auto line feed turned on, um, that's good for you because when you have it turned on, this will allow you to, basically when, when it realizes that there's like a line feed character from a note taker or another device that you're printing from, uh, it knows when to go down. Print control characters is turned off, we're not sure about that. Braille. Um, we have two options for this. We have six dot or eight dot. Eight dot braille. We want to leave it at six dot. Six dot. Label mode off. And label mode is turned off. This is a good mode if you want the blazer to braille out whatever is being spoken by the speech synthesizer. Um, you can turn this on, and anything that is spoken will be um, brailled out for you. Sideways exit. The next part of this video, if I can do it, will be actually embossing with the blazer.